What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to call myself uh, Chef Boyardee today because I'm learning how to cook. <laughs> so we decided to uh, make some rice Krispies treats in the meantime. It is super hot in here. It's this super hot because... This girl's already making caldo in like in summer. You know, you know your Mexican wing, you make caldo when it's 110 degrees. That's mm -hmm. the only time you make caldo, right? But anyways, so all you really need is a bowl sort of like this. This is Fritz's house by the way. Oh no, this is truck of Tupperware. Everything else is pretty fast. But anyway, all you really need is a bowl like this. Obviously some Rice Krispies and I got some... Uh, jumbo marshmallows. Some jumbo marshmallows and some butter. And when you're Mexican, you really don't measure anything. It's just un tantito de esto, un tantito de aquello, and a little bit of more of this. You're good to go. That's it. You know what I mean? And some vanilla. We just haven't grabbed it yet. Yeah, and some vanilla extract. Alright, so first what we're going to do is, on this one right here, we're going to add a good... A good. Oh fuck! It, I don't even know. Fuck it. We just put a whole bunch of this shit in here. Who gives a shit, right? Just pour a whole bunch of Rice Krispies in there. And that should be fine. Just pour a little bit more, just in case. I don't know. I'm not really a cook guy, but we'll figure this thing out together, right? We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure like white people. We're gonna figure this thing out. Sprinkle some shit on there. All right. So this is done with. We're gonna just leave this here for now, right now. We're gonna get this right here. This is called Prince House. You know what I mean? You're Mexican when you got Prince's house in your house. You ain't got Prince's house, then you're not Mexican. We're gonna throw some uh, tantito de uh, marshmallows. I don't know exactly how many, but fuck, we just put a whole bunch of in there. Who cares? That's how my mom tells me. My mom like, echale poquito sal a los frijoles. But like, how much? Poquito no but they don't ever tell you exactly how much. Something like that. So this is what it looks like right here. Look, this is a little bit marshmallows. I don't know, should I pull a bit more? Let's pull like three more in there, who cares? Right. Oh shit, you fucked up. My bad, I forgot to put the butter in there. So let's take these back out. All right, just put them back in the bag. It's good. You ain't gotta wash your hands when you do this, right? You don't have to ever wash your hands, never. Just go ahead and put them back in the bag. I forgot to put the butter in there. Put them back in there. Here's the butter. I'm broke, oh shit. I'm broke, so I forgot to. You know, it's like a little mini butter right here. I don't know exactly how much butter, but I'm gonna take a good guess and think about this one. Where did I learn how to make uh, marshmallow treaties? Don't know, but we're about to find out right now. We're about to seal this thing up, put it on the stove, and see what the stove can do for us. The butter going on there. I don't even know that's enough butter, but who cares? We'll find out. We'll find out right now. Trial and error. Got the stove top. I don't know about you guys, but you only mix it when you do a foil. That way the stuff doesn't get dirty. I don't know if like, you tell it to clean it, or you want stuff out of your foot there. So we're going to let it boil a little bit more. Actually, it's still put in there, but... Uh, fuck, we just put some in there. I did it wrong the first time, but... Well, I don't think there's a way to mess this up because all you gotta do is literally constantly turn it until it turns like blue, and then you just add as much rice crispies as you want until it holds together. So this is what it's looking like right now. Francis was just preparing the pan, so that way everything's already ready. But this is what it's looking like so far. Oh yeah, you forgot too. This look, we got the pan. You gotta put the pan. You gotta put some butter on this too. Please put butter on this. I can't find a spoon. Don't put any butter. No. Oh my god. He does not understand that this already has butter and the rice. You can't find a spoon here, Brian. Like me, you're lazy. You can't find a spoon. You like to wash them. Just fucking just use your hands. Grab some shit like that. The rice krispies already have. I mean, the marshmallow already has butter, and then when the rice krispies come, come over here. Ah, it's hot. Marshmallow. I think it's getting stuck. Put some more marshmallow. Nothing else. No, right? This is not good. I think so. When you listen to Eric, look at this. Look at the bottom, huh? Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. You can't really. You guys see that brown right there? Look, all that brown that's coming off? That's because of Erica. She don't know how to cook. That's why I said girls do not know how to cook, bro. I'm Eric, and I know how to take them this job. That's here. So that's definitely not what. She, everything that you guys just saw is definitely not what you're supposed to do. Everything that I showed you guys. But do it. <laughs> and the way that I showed you guys is better, the way I could do it, I don't know what she's doing. What did he show you? Just putting the marshmallows in and letting them burn? Uh, hello, that's a lot more than you can think. Guys. This looks like chicken alfredo with cheese balls. No, I don't. Mozzarella cheese. Yeah, um, mozzarella cheese. Yeah, because you know how they come in little bowls? Yeah. But anyways, it's looking better, right? 
not burned because I'm, burning. I'm look watching. At the bottom, bro. It's no, it's burning. not. Look at the bottom. So we just added the marks to the rice krispies and mix. But I'm doing this one handed, so I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So we got it all mixed now. All of it's mixed. Now we're gonna transfer it over to a pan and then flatten it out and then let it cool. So this is the final. Dude, you can like literally not even look at this. This is how stuck it gets. So what I did, I kind of just pressed the spoon on top of it. Left it like that. And then uh, that's how you make rice krispies. It's really how I wish it would have been there out of it, but. I told her to use the rest of the marshmallows and use the rest of the bag, but he said no. Anyways, like I was saying. But like always, it it's pretty much it. Just me. do that after you do that. Put this in the freezer. Let it cool down for a bit. And now for the Rice Krispies. You let them in there for about 15 minutes, I want to say. You got the spoon in there? Oh, these are super sticky. Oh, oh man. Why'd you leave the spoon in there? Doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, that's super hard, huh? Damn. I think you should leave it in there for longer, no? What do you think? No? No, that's fine. That's fine? That's it, you guys. And that's what they come out like. And that's how you make Rice Krispies, guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Peace.